Opportunity. Parfait Bate's world revolves around seizing it. A native of Cameroon, Bate left his home for the U.S. in 2003 with the dream of playing Division I college basketball. But for the French-speaking teenager, the price of admission was steep. I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> it was like, you don't know where you're going. You just get on a plane and just see what's coming next. It was hard. I didn't know anything. People talked to me, I was trying to figure it out. I was trying to pick up one word and a sentence and trying to figure out a sentence. So that's, <laughs> that's how bad it was. The path for Bate was paved by two men. His uncle, Lazar Adingano, played basketball for the University of Rhode Island and went on to become an assistant with the Rams, whereby he convinced coach Jim Barron to offer Bate a scholarship. Bate's father, on the other hand, an American-schooled PhD, stressed education over athletics. It was kind of a rocky relationship, you know, because, you know, Parfait wanted to play a lot more. Dad didn't want him to play a lot more. He didn't want to hear about basketball at all. He wanted us to be successful in the classroom. Sadly, in the midst of Bate's sophomore season, news traveled from Cameroon that his father had died unexpectedly. I wanted to go home. Like, I didn't, even, I didn't even think about it. I was like, I'm going home no matter what. But I talked to my mom and she told me there's no reason for me to, go, to be there. Like, if my dad was alive, the only thing he wanted me to do was to go to school and play basketball and take care of what I'm supposed to take care of. He talked about it. Uh, said, well, you have to achieve what your dad wanted you to achieve. It is crucial now, uh, just in his memory, to do this. You can tell it got to him at points in the season when his uh, father passed. I think it was, it was a struggle every day for him because he couldn't get back home because he was in the middle of the season. When something like that happens, there's a lot of responsibility on the children, but uh, you know, his mom wanted him to get a degree. But when Parfait Bate gets a degree, it's going to be a tremendous moment because of how proud his family is of him. I was looking more into the opportunity, you know, like I was like, yeah, I'm here and I have to do whatever it's going to take to make it. The only thing I had in my head was, you know, I have to, I have to get through this. After a visit to Cameroon that summer, Bate returned and assumed the starting point guard spot just seven games into his junior season. This year, as a senior, Bate has helped fuel a Rams resurgence, leading Rhode Island to its best start in over 60 years. He's a leader. He's a vocal leader. He leads by example. The ball's in his hand 90% of the time. So whatever he says goes. And uh, I don't know where this team would be without him. You want to succeed? You're going you're gonna to have to go get it yourself. Nobody's going to give him anything, like, you're going to have to go get it. I think Parfait is a young man that has a lot of character. And of course, it is tough for many young men that comes from that far, because there's so many things that could happen. There's so many things that can go wrong. But to have a young kid seeing that progression is absolutely uh, refreshing. Most of the things, good or bad, made me kind of who I am, like, stronger. I look at it as a blessing. I know people back home who will, you know, kill to be in my position, so I can't take, I can't take it for granted. It's a great journey, so I just gotta keep enjoying it and just keep taking advantage of it, you know. It's, it's great to be here. <laughs>